today our adventures brings us to this store called Blast from the Past. It is a store here in Burbank, California that sells movies, comics, TV collectibles. And they got a whole bunch of really amazing stuff. So let's go inside. I do want to point out that Blast from the Past also sells Trick or Treat Studios memorabilia, masks and life-size dolls. They're based out of Santa Cruz. I'm obsessed with them. So I already love this store. Right here in the window, we got a couple Trick or Treat goodies. Seeing this stuff right out of the gate really makes me happy. Right here we had the Seed of Chucky. Time to raise some hell. Right next to him is the Twilight Zone, Taki Tina. She's always been creepy. Also, here's another good guys. He wants you for a best friend and above them all, and she is beautiful, is Annabelle from The Conjuring. Yeah, she's just creepy. All right, let's go inside. I've never wanted a figurine so badly in my life. Look at this, Bride of Frankenstein. It's $1,199.99, but worth every penny. Let's look at her. High on the shelf up here in the corner is a giant box that says on Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Open it up, look at that. Oh, we need this. Look at his eyes. All right, we need a display case like this in our house. Just look at all this horror, goodness. Back over this way. That's pretty amazing. Oh my. I'm loving this place. I would hang every single one of these in our house, especially that creep show one. I'm really liking that. I'm gonna go ahead and go on record as saying this, that this store, in my opinion, is maybe one of the top places to get collectibles at a very reasonable price with a lot of variety. I'm wanting to collect all of the black mythological creatures from Funko, like this one from uh, The Crimes of Grindelwald. And uh, I think I have the Thestral, I can't remember, but what I was shocked to see here is I have Jack Crawford from Hannibal. And I'm reliving Hannibal, it's a, a series that I've loved very much, and I'm realizing that the Wendigo is gonna become my holy grail because I cannot find him. But the fact that they even had something here from Hannibal is amazing. Pretty much everything that they have here is stuff that I want. So I can only imagine that you guys would want it too. I mean, seriously, even this Lon Chaney. Look at that. That's beautiful. Everything about the store is just perfect and creepy and a blast, dare I say it, from the past. You know I am a fan of trick-or-treat masks. A few of these I have. I have that Creature from the Black Lagoon on the left-hand side, that Nightmare on Elm Street, the Freddy Krueger. I kind of want that one, and that one, that's pretty amazing too. Don't have any of those on the second row. None of the ones down here on the third row. But down here, I feel like I need all four of these. Well, I have Nate from Creepshow, but I don't have the other three. It looks like they have all kinds of different horror board games and puzzles, but they have something that I didn't even know that they had even existed and this might have to come home with us as well it is a creep show thousand piece puzzle now that is bad booty i haven't said that in a long time i'm loving this what i wouldn't do to own this a hellboy action figure signed by del toro himself i never heard of this company but i am digging it messed up puzzles just like the Creepshow one. Here's one for the Beyond and Zombie. 
I'm only going to show a few of these, but they have one heck of a pin collection. Jessica's already got a handful of them. Maybe I can convince her to show what we're buying today. Just look at how beautiful they are. Do you know how rare it is to find McFarland's toys in package? I'm speechless. Over here in the corner, I found a really cool treasure. It says, a blast from the past, an exclusive limited edition of 300 for 50 bucks. It is a poster, Todd Browning's Freaks. Love this movie. It's amazing. And the artwork is cool as heck. I could see this hanging in our apartment. The guy right there, Johnny Eck. Him. He's buried in Baltimore. There's a wall blanket of the Munsters. 1313 Mockingbird Lane for $75 plus tax. Right below him is Stripe. I like how over here in the corner they have a mannequin with a Night of the Living Dead shirt. And right on top of it, that's a really nice return of the Living Dead mask from Trick or Treat Studios. Man, I love their masks. Let me back up a little bit. Very nice. Without a doubt, this store has such an amazing display of things, both equally for sale as well as permanent fixtures. This one here has to be my favorite. To Larry, all the best, Roddy McDowell. I want this. Can't have it, but I want it. It's beautiful. It's Gizmo from the movie Gremlins, and he comes with sound. Sing it, buddy. Sing it. This is absolutely beautiful. It is a Hellraiser cube from Hellraiser Inferno. And it actually feels, you know, heavy, not like, you know, a cheap prop. Heckins, yes. Looks like they have a Star Wars section as well. It's pretty massive. It takes up a good corner of the store here. I love how they display this. Yeah, I'd go ahead and say that that's a life-size Darth Vader. Do not touch, but you can buy him. What do you think, Jessica? Have him in our apartment? He's taller than me. He's huge.
All right, Jessica, go ahead and share with us what you bought from Blast from the Past today. Okay, well, <laughs> you guys know that I'm out of the box, Michael's in the box, so I don't mind when my personal collectibles are out of the box. I know you'll hate me for this, but they had her. She was already out of her box. She is the mummy from the 2017 redo of the mummy with Tom Cruise. She's the hot one. She's smoking hot, smoking hot. And I just, I love, I love the way they made her look. I really adore go ahead and hold her, her up. image. There you go. She's beautiful. Yeah, she is. And of course, every, every time I go somewhere, it's pins. I love pins. And I uh, had to get this giant one. Of, Bella Lugosi has Dracula. That's beautiful too. Yeah, look how massive that is. And that's only $12. This one's from Rock Rebel. I think they're both from Rock Rebel actually. And I got a smaller one of the... The little fellas from Labyrinth. I almost called them monsters, but they're not monsters. They're goblins. They're goblins, yeah, that's they're right. Yeah, they're goblin puppets when they're waiting for her to Say the magic words. I always love the ones that are yeah. the bombs. Oh yeah. Those are the cutest. That was like the most brilliant idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jim Henson. You guys know me and Jim Henson. It's an undying love. I wonder if they made one for uh, the Dark Crystal. I'll have to look into that. If you do find yourself in Burbank, California and want to visit Blast from the Past, you can. You can also call them. And if you found something in this video, that you want to buy, go to blastfromthepast.tv. I'm sure you can find something here. It's a great store. Wherever I come, I'm bad luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that in state? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. 